and racism allegations against talk show host Sharon Osbourne have escalated overnight. Gee, for more we're joined by entertainment editor Peter Ford. Pete, uh, Sharon is now hitting back. She's rejecting these accusations. She certainly is. Now, what happened yesterday, this was beginning to unfold and they did close down the presentation, the live presentation of the TV show, The Talk, for Monday and Tuesday. They've now extended that for the entire week. Uh, and this is while an internal investigation takes place as to what Sharon Osbourne has allegedly said and done through the years. Now, a lot of this does stem back many years, but the allegations are including her using terms and words that were homophobic and racist. Most interestingly, who they were directed at. One of the people who she used racist terms at, one of them being calling her a wonton, is Julie Chen, who is married to the then boss of CBS. So apart from anything else, you really think you're playing with fire. And also other very derogatory, crude terms directed towards Sarah Gilbert, former co-star, and basically she also is the executive producer of the show. So again, dangerous turf. Now there you can see Sharon is, uh, this is Sharon's spokesperson, Howard Bragman, who's saying, you know, she's unfazed and hardly surprised by the lies. So they are certainly doubling down. Sharon has spoken to the Daily Mail. Interestingly, hasn't used her own social media, but spoken to the Daily Mail and again says it's all a pack of lies and she's being set up. I find it really hard to think that she's going to survive this. I still can't quite pinpoint if it is directly or indirectly related to her support last week of Piers Morgan. Mm, well, speaking of the Meghan Markle rant which resulted in Piers quitting Good Morning Britain, it's made history, Pete. He has, yeah. So what happened was just based on that day after the, uh, the big interview went to air, when he really went after them very hard, there were 57,121 official complaints to the Broadcasting Authority in the UK. So this is not just people getting on Twitter or ringing up the TV station. These are official complaints, 57,000 plus. Now, the highest up until then was in 2007 for an episode a big brother and that got 44,000 complaints so uh, if he's you know gone down he's gone down you know in a blaze of glory that's for sure